breaker. Yeah. Oh, okay. When you finish the identification. Yeah. With a solar panel. Well, we did it. We got one solar panel that we're hoping will make a difference to get us up north. Now to get it installed. So we had Paola come today to do a bottom cleaning for us, and my gosh, am I glad she did. She said the through holes were really bad. Uh, so we decided to clean them from the inside, the through hole strainers as well. And what we have pulled out is quite disgusting. Uh, from seashells to seaweed to fish uh, and other unknowns. Oh my word. This is right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's Ew. what I was talking about. Yeah, Ew. yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. word. How does it get through the screener? The yeah, screener? right? It's no, not, it grew it's inside. It's not in the screen oh. yet. It's not. It is. Oh my gosh. God. <laughs> oh, holy moly. <gasps> yes. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, there so there's right our there. problems. So anyway, there's shells in there. Oh yeah. Let's see if you dump it out there. Oh, fish! fish. Oh, fish! Good. <laughs> Some bathrooms, they, they flush with salt, salt water, right? So it was, uh, something was stuck in the bathroom and they used the, the oh. thing. And it was not to complete this thing. That would have been a <laughs> I think I would have been terrified to use the toilet from then and on. <laughs> be like, what, something's gonna come up at me. Oh my gosh. It stinks. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> fishy, fishy. Oh, it smells so bad. Just one step closer to a safe exit out of La Paz. And uh, hopefully the engine won't run quite as hot. Hopefully the refrigerators will run a little bit colder. Hopefully we can get everything working. So we got 12 house batteries and they haven't been acting very good lately. They're lead acid. They're very heavy. You can hardly pick one up. And uh, I've not ch checked the electrolyte in a long time. I've kept them full. I just haven't checked the specific gravity which is a good indicator of the health of your battery. So, uh, and that's automatically a horrible sign right there. Look at, see the level of the water, uh, the level of the electrolyte, it's up in the red. Uh, that'd be bad, you want it down here in the green. So this is not a good, not a good cell, not a good, probably not a good battery. And I got 12 of them, that are probably, yeah, no good, no bueno. These are six volt golf cart batteries. Pretty standard issue for boats these days. It's not the high tech stuff, but this battery is probably $200. And a lithium battery is $900 and up. So we have 12 bad batteries. Yeah, I've been checking them and they're not, they're all about the same. So there you have it. We don't have even one healthy battery on the house bank. We woke up this morning to the generator spewing out steam and barely any water. Uh, the after running it for like an hour and a half, trying to get the, char the to uh, charge the batteries as quickly as we could before we just shut it off and had to figure out what was going on with it. We were running the refrigerators and freezers, and then we realized that one of the freezers wasn't working. Of course, when we came in uh, back into La Paz, the engine was running pretty warm. And I am pretty sure we have just solved all of those problems. Thanks to Paola for cleaning the bottom of the boat, you rock. And for my husband for cleaning out the strainers, which was disgusting. Uh, our boat is much happier and it's running better. So anyway, after getting all of the everything cleaned up, we wanted to test the generator, see how it was working and it wouldn't turn on. Anyway, uh, my husband went down under the bilge, cleaned up the battery terminals on the generator and voila, the generator is now running beautifully. It's spewing out water and no steam, and the freezer is working again, and we're almost all systems go. Now we just gotta install this uh, solar that we just bought today, and uh, stock up our fridge and freezer and cupboards, and we are out of here.
and do video. Oh. <laughs> Goo, what are you doing? You're being silly. Look at him. We already got bird poop on. Oh. Believe it or not. So this is a Morningstar charge controller, 60 amp. Um, I'm in the middle of putting the breaker and uh, cut and shut off switch right here. Uh, this is coming from the solar panels, and so I'm going to put a breaker on the positive before I come back down into the charge controller. All right. So slow process. Tonight we have been invited to happy hour on Jim's boat, Commodos. Very nice, very much looking forward to getting out tonight. And oh my goodness, the water is crystal clear. Wow, it's kind of a rarity in uh, La Paz. You got the hot pepper, huh? Yeah, I got a hot pepper. <laughs> Mouth is on fire. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you so much. So I just completed the installation of a little tiny solar array. 210 watts it's all that would fit on our roof uh, without building a solar stainless steel solar arch to hold the three big panels that we have planned but uh, so the 210 watts that we did put up will do a little something while we have our boat on the hard and I'll do something you know during the day maybe keep these batteries a little topped up if we don't drop them down too far but uh, anyway it's a start and we've been looking forward to it because prior to now we hadn't had any other way to charge these batteries except for the generator we have to run an hour and a half every morning and sometimes in the evening too we just uh, put together a little something here in La Paz uh, to get us by uh, on the way to uh, northern end of Sea of Cortez spend some time up there anyway so this is a Morningstar uh, TriStar MPPT uh, 60 amp charge controller uh, to my knowledge it is like a very good charge controller. Morningstar is one of the earliest and longest uh, operating companies of anyone. I put a uh, isolator switch at the top, isolator switch at the bottom so we could totally isolate this. Uh, I used giant uh, 2 watt cabling between the charge controller and the battery bank and it went straight to the uh, positive bus and negative bus in the boat. Let's try it on. Let's see what happens. Nine nine, sweet. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! So excited and so proud of this man. Thank you so much for knowing everything that you know. And when you don't know uh, it, you research it until you can figure it out. Anything. So you can do it. We have solar. We have solar. It's coming in like free power right now. This is so exciting. Ten amps. Gee whiz. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's over with. I bet. This is so unbelievably exciting because. I like to have my internet running all day long and someone won't let me because it runs the batteries down and we can't keep running the generator day and night to keep the batteries charged. So now maybe, just maybe, I can keep my Starlink on all day without somebody 
giving me the stink eye. It's charging our batteries without the generator. This is so exciting. Uh, new friends we met at the Malacan, uh, was it last week? And now we get to have some coffee with these guys. They have a YouTube channel, we will link them below. They travel everywhere. Not by sailboat, but by car. Subaru, it's the way to go. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Cheers. 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 We walked to Nicholas Bravo. It's a pretty good little walk from here. No, thank you. Madurada and Mata. They have a fresh meat market, got a, an entire tenderloin, a beef tenderloin. He brought out this ginormous backbone and some ribs and things attached to it. And I thought, what in the heck? We've been misunderstood here. <laughs> and anyway, he was cutting, he started cutting out this uh, tenderloin out of this giant piece of animal. And uh, it was really fascinating to watch. I think it was like three kilos, four kilos, something like that. 2.2 pounds per kilo. It had to be at least eight or 10 pounds. And we paid $30 for this fantastic tenderloin. That thing was 24 inches long and it was about three inches in diameter. It was fantastic. We're working on provisioning for at least six weeks. We want to make sure we have plenty of food, so if we decide we fall in love with a little piece of paradise somewhere along the way before we make it to Puerto Panasco, we can hang out as long as we want. It's like a record, $600 worth of groceries today. <laughs> and we're not finished. We got to go to Sam's Club next. thousand dollars worth of groceries. Here's the last bag of goodies. Whew. We should be good for about six to eight weeks. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> now to back up this 14 foot dinghy in this tiny little space. If anyone can do it, my hubby can. You got this. Officially provisioned. We are absolutely good to go. This is very, very awesome. Thank you. I'm telling you, it's the best beer. We did just find out that from one of our neighbors out in the Anchorage that apparently in the States you can find Indio at Bevmo. So, anyway, if you have a Bevmo near you, you gotta try out this beer. It is delicious. And if you do go to Bevmo and find this beer and you think it's delicious too, let us know. Well, it's Feels like about 150 degrees in the boat. Notice the uh, not so glorious skin. We got everything unloaded from the dinghy and into the boat. And now to put it all away, I hope we have room for all of this. I'm sure we'll find room somewhere for all of this. Well, holy cow, that's our first full day of solar. It's a man hope. Yeah, there's something about a boat. Something about a dog. Right, we got the out. Ready? Woo! Oh, right on. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you yeah. to Dan and Peter for rescuing the dinghy that was totally stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Ah! <laughs> it's a bit breezy. Tonight was really fun. It was a lot of fun. We got we went and we got to go meet Dayless and crew and it was a blast. Thanks for uh, letting us join your table tonight. It was a lot of fun meeting you all and uh, hanging out with our neighbors as well on Kessel.
Thanks to the birthday boy, Joe, for buying us all dinner and drinks. That was really sweet and totally unexpected. Uh, shout out to you, man. That was, sure. that was a great night. I wish I had pictures, but honestly, it was just so much fun chilling out and not having to record. It was fun talking with fellow sailors. It was awesome. Yeah. Good job, baby. Always a little bit nervous doing that. Mm -hmm. Opening the hole in the bottom of the boat, I would be too. Yeah. Do whatever you say 